Okay, this is a uh, compressor I recently took apart, and there's the cylinders. And the reason I did this one is, uh, look at the copper plating on the cylinders. Okay, it's pretty obvious there. You can see the coloration. You can also see scratch marks from uh, debris that may be from the copper plating. Copper plating is going to reduce the clearance and the bearings. It only seems to uh, deposit on iron. It doesn't seem to deposit on aluminum. But uh, uh, too much air in the system, uh, too much, any air is too much air. Uh, moisture too, but uh, that's definitely copper plating. Here with the same unit, one of the pistons. Looks like it's got some copper plating on it too, and some uh, score marks. But that makes the clearances uh, tighter than they should be in the machine. Here we have uh, a connecting rod. That's an aluminum rod. If you look close on this one, you can see it doesn't look like there's any uh, plating on the aluminum itself. Let's take a look at the crankshaft. Okay, and probably the most obvious indication of copper plating is right there. That's some real heavy plating. Okay, you can see in that throw, we're uh, quite a bit of copper plating on it too. So, uh, contaminants in the system. Give you copper plating, reduce clearances, probably lock up the compressor. Uh, before we leave this, I uh, happened to pull one of the wrist pins out of one of the pistons and uh, took a look at it and boy, I'll tell you, this has got the most obvious copper plating of uh, any of the parts. You can see that it's plated on both sides. It's not plated in the middle because the wrist pin uh, meets up with the uh, top end of the connecting rod there so there's none in there but you can feel the drag a pretty good clearance here and then it, at the end it has quite a bit of drag. There's the piston where it goes and you can see the copper plating's in there too. It's uh, fairly obvious when you look in there and there's a bunch of that copper plating in there and they're noticeably stiff. You know these are supposed to be full floating pins and they fit, but they're tight. They're tighter than I would expect them to be. Uh, pretty nasty stuff. Uh, clean up your equipment. Do your good triple deep of vac. Maybe you can avoid some of this crap.